Every fall, our staff begins dreaming and planning about what God is going to do the, the next year. And then we come back after this prayer retreat that we have, and we talk together about what God is going to do in our church. And we'll often come up with a word or a phrase or a theme of what we sense God doing. And, the, the, you know, this year was no different. Our theme for 2023 is transformation. And we're trusting God for transformation radically inside of all of us. Transformation in you as an individual and me, like on an individual level, we want to see lives transformed, but also transformation in our church. We want to see our church continue to be transformed so that we can be strengthened, we can be built up, we can grow, and we can serve this community in ways we never have before. And we want to see transformation in our community. As you look all around, people need hope. People need their lives touched and transformed. So we are believing God for that. And, you know, we have another um, annual tradition that we do, and that is our Christmas offering. Now, we're not a church that typically does special offerings throughout the year, um, but on Christmas, we remember that one of our core values as a church is generosity. And as a church, we want to encourage all of us to participate in giving in a generous way above our regular tithes and offerings so that we can make a big impact in our community and in our world. And over the years, we've given to so many amazing causes. We've been able to do some really Really great things together as a church because of the generosity of the, these people coming together. And this year, um, we, we see something a little bit different. We see the convergence of these two traditions that I've discussed coming together. You see, we as a church desperately want God to transform us and to use us to transform others, uh, to transform our community and our world, and yet we have a challenge. Over the past few years, through the pandemic, through social distancing, and other circumstances, we, like most churches, have had to overcome some really great obstacles and difficulties to keep moving forward on the mission that God has given us. And now we don't believe that God has lessened our mission, but we do have less people engaged right now in in-person attendance less people engaged in serving, and less people that are engaged in giving. And, you know, this year, like your family, all of our expenses went up too, you know, with inflation and all the economic factors, rent, food, church ministry supplies, uh, technology, all those things, inflation hit us hard too. But, you know, we, we actually didn't receive, like many, a cost of living raise at this same time. In fact, our church has experienced a significant budget deficiency. In fact, if we continue at the end to, to where we are now and that trajectory continues to the end of this year, then our budget will be the lowest it has been in 10 years, which is, let that sink in for a minute. We, we've been going for, what year is it right now? Okay, 17 years. And so, so that's quite a long time. And what happens is our funds have decreased and our costs have increased, and yet our mission continues. Now, I am not here to beat anybody up about this. I am not here to make anyone feel guilty, and I am not here to pressure anybody. My hope is I'm sharing with you as transparently as possible in the hopes to see this area transformed too. Now, this begins with every single one of us who call this church your home, giving in a biblical, generous way. And as you can see, your part absolutely makes a difference. But it can also be turned around um, right now through our 2022 Christmas offering, which we are calling the Transformation Fund. You see, I believe that God has a lot of people he still wants to reach, and he wants to use us in a lot of ways and to build up us within these walls so that we can go outside these walls and make a difference. And so to do that, this year our Christmas offering will be the Transformation Fund, which we will use to build up our church internally so that we can make more of a difference and transform our community externally. The um, Transformation Fund, the Christmas offering this year, will do several things. It will help to fund an additional pastor here in West Hartford location. It will provide funds to help transform our youth group, which we want to invest in a lot more in this next year. It's going to help as we invest more in university students and young adults, which is going to be a big focus in the new year. It will help to upgrade some equipment that we need to constantly keep updated in the crazy tech environment that we live in. And um, yes, it will help, of course, with continued local outreach and things we do 
to serve the community and make a difference in local ministries and events. Now, these things um, are what we know we need to transform us from the, the status quo to the bright future. But, you know, we were talking uh, to our staff and one of our staff people, she said, you know, I think a lot of people recognize that we give a lot of money to other ministries, but maybe forget that we are also a ministry and dependent on people um, sending funds and that we could benefit greatly from those as well. And you see, that's absolutely the heart. We believe that in the year ahead, God is going to transform our church in some powerful ways and then use us to transform um, this community. And if you believe that too, I want to invite you to be a part of the Transformation Fund this December. There's a couple things you can do. Number one is pray. Uh, what I don't want you to do is have just a quick reaction and just kind of feel whatever way, certainly not out of guilt or anything like that or pressure, but I, I just want you to pray. Pray about what God may have you to do. Pray about how God may want you to give above and beyond your regular tithes and offerings and give in a generous way, maybe in a way that you haven't done before. And uh, then once you've done that, you can give. And there's three ways that you can give. You can give online on our app or on our website. Um, and when you go down on the app or menu, there, there's a drop-down menu. It'll say Christmas offering. You can select that. Number two, you can give in person. You can just simply write Christmas offering or transformation on your check. Um, and that, that's great. Or you can give assets. Um, for example, stock donations, or even cryptocurrency, NFTs. Those are all things that, um, that could be used. Just ask us how. Now, our goal for this year's Christmas offering is $50,000. We always have a goal. We have something to shoot for. And you might say, man, that's, that's a lot of money. And, and it is a lot of money. But it's going to take transformative funds to do transformative things in this new year. So please, just pray about your part. Rebecca and I are praying about our part and how we can help. And just remember this, our vision and mission at this church is that Jesus changes everything. That includes this church. That includes my life. That includes your life. That includes this community. So please, just pray about how God might have you be involved this year. And then let's trust and work together as we partner with God in this next year as we believe he'll do some transformative things.